Hello, peaceful grimmer. You welcome back to the Sleepy Dragon Chronicle, your nightly escape into tranquility. As the evening starts up here, we embark on a gentle journey through the corridors of sleep. In this realm, stress dissolves under the moon's watchful eye, and the night's embrace is a comforting friend. Prepare your Pausia sanctuary. Close your eyes to the world and sink into the velvety arms of the night. Cast aside your day's burdens, for it's time to wander in the land where dreams are crafted from stardust and whispers. Home for Christmas. Have the preparing experience of repairing the clock, the ensuring its continued function. Ethan felt a mixture of exhaustion and exhilaration. He had journeyed through time, witnessed tapestry of Christmas through the ages, and upon the underscanned date, significance of the clock. Now, he designed one final journey to discover the very origin of the clock, to see how a word's story began. With a sense of reverence, Ethan gently adjusted the clock's hands to a symbol that he felt represented beginnings. He closed his eyes, whispering his wish to witness the clock's inception. The familiar embrace of time travel enveloped him, and he was swept away on his last journey. When Ethan opened his eyes, he found himself in a quaint village, much younger than any place he had visited before. It was a time long past, in an era where life was simpler, yet filled with wonders and mysteries not yet understood by man. The air was crisp, and the night sky was a tapestry of stars, unmired by the lights of eternity. Ethan made his way through the village, drawn by an inexplicable sense of direction. He arrived at a small cottage, where the light of a candle flickered through the window. Inside, he saw a young man, no older than himself, working intently at a table. This, he realized, was Tobias the Mammutmiker in his youth. The young Tobias looked up as Ethan entered, his expression one of curiosity and not fear. Ethan introduced himself and explained his quest to learn about the clock's origin. Tobias listened, a spark of recognition in his eyes. He shared that he'd always felt that the clock would one day lead to something extraordinary. Beyond his own time for comprehension, Tobias explained that he had found the celestial fragment, the heart of the clock's magic, in a meteorite that had fallen near the village. He had felt drawn to it, sensing its extraordinary nature. The blindness fragment. With his craftsmanship and knowledge of clocking, Tobias had created the kind traveling clock, not for me to understand its potential, but proven by Abdomet Kassim Fair As they talked, Ethan saw the passion and hope in Yanitobia's eyes. He was a man ahead of his time, training of possibilities that others could not imagine. Ethan felt a profound respect and kinship with the young. Mark Laker, understanding now the full trinium of the clock, from its creation to its pivotal role in his own life. Ethan shared his adventures with the clock, telling Tobias of the wonders he had seen and the lessons he had learned. The young Mark listened in awe. His dream of the clock's potential realized through it experiences. As the night deepened, Ethan knew it was time to return to his own era. He thanked Tobias for his ingenuity and vision, for creating something that transcended time and space. With a final look at the lightning cloaker, Ethan used the clock to travel back to his time. Sitting in his living room, Ethan felt a deep sense of completion. 
he traced for clock's journey. From its very beginning to the present, the clock was the Nutristian instrument of tile travel. It was a legacy of imagination, a bridge between generations, and a reminder of the endless. He fell, looked at the clock, now more than just a timepiece, but a changed companion his journey through ages. As we sat by the fire on Christmas Eve, he reflected on the adventures he had experienced and the wonders he had seen. The clock ticked softly, its rhythm the comforting and familiar, sound in the quiet of the night, a testament to the journey of time and magic of Christmas. With the clock's origins now revealed, the thing felt a profound connection to its history and purpose. The Christmas Eve night was serene, the soft glow of the fireplace, casting a comforting warmth in the room. Avon decided it was time to step away from his travels and focus on the present, to celebrate Christmas in his own time, enriched by the myriad experiences he had gathered. As he sat in contemplation, there was a gentle knock on the door. Surprised, Ethan rose to enter it. Standing outside, in the soft fall of snow, were his family members. Their faces bright with smiles, thin eyes, sparkling with the joy of the holiday sea season. Evan's heart swelled with happiness. Dean, to his trying traveling adventures, he had not realized how much he had missed the simple pleasure of being with his family. Their arrival was a reminder of the most important aspect of Christmas, the joy of being with loved ones. The house quickly filled with laughter and chatter. If the Naring's parents, siblings, and a few close relatives gathered around the fireplace, sharing stories and memories, the room was alive with the spirit of Christmas, a warm and loving atmosphere that Ethan had come to appreciate even after his journeys. As they exchanged gifts, Ethan felt a deep sense of gratitude. The presents were simple, yet each held a meaning and thoughtfulness that transcended material value. He realized that the true gift was the time spent together, the memories created, and the more shared. The evening progressed with a festive dinner, where they all sat around the table, enjoying each other's company. Emil was a traditional fare, but to Ethan, he tasted better than any feast he had experienced in his travels. It was the flavor of home, of familiarity and comfort. After dinner, they gathered around the Christmas tree, its legs twinkling softly in the dim room. Hana, any issues with nephews were eager to hear stories of his travels, their eyes white with wonder as he recounted his adventures through time. He shared tales of the different eras he had visited, the people he had met, and the lessons he had learned. As he spoke, Eva realized that his journeys with the clock had not only given him a unique perspective on Christmas, but also on life itself. He had seen the past, explored the future, and now understood the importance of cherishing the present. A night grew late, and as the family settled into a comfortable silence, Ethan looked around at the faces of his loved ones. He felt a profound sense of belonging and contentment. The clock, resting quietly on the mantelpiece, so, had brought him full circle back to where his heart truly belonged. In the gentle light of the fireplace with his family around him, Ethan felt the true spirit of Christmas envelop him. It was a feeling of nuff connection and gratitude, a reminder that no matter how far one travels, the warmth of home and the love of family 
while the greatest gifts of all. As the clock ticked softly in the background, Ethan smiled, knowing that this Christmas Eve was when he would always cherish. A harp will meet me reunion that brought the true meaning of the holiday into his art. The joyous reunion with his family on Christmas, Ethan left Ethan with a heart full of room and a renewed appreciation for the present. As he sat quietly the next morning, Watching the gentle snowfall outside, he reflected on his responsibility towards the kind traveling clock, the adventures it had taken him, and were not just Priscilla's escapades, but also journeys that highlighted the importance of preserving the spirit and traditions of Christmas for future generations. He then realized that his unique experiences came with a duty to ensure the essence of Christmas its warmth of joy. In togetherness contained Kifrai. He pondered how he could attribute to tipping the future of Christmas. To ensure that the lessons and experiences he had gathered at the path of others. Inspired, Ethan decided to pen a book. It would be a collection of stories and reflections from his travels through time capturing the essence of Christmas across different eras. He wanted to share the universal themes of love, hope, and kindness that he had with place. To rewind on days of the time and share the holiday spirits, as he wrote, he then effused his tales with the wisdom and insights he'd gained. He heard that the simple juries of a medieval Christmas, the festive spirit of the Victoria, yeah, the month of family gathering was in his own time. Each story was a window into the heart of Christmas, a testament to its enduring significance. Even those so included his encounters with the various people who had helped shape his understanding of the clock, and its magic that Van Meter to bias. The Inzungir the Lork, the Horror of Kirk. Through these characters, he conveyed the importance of cherishing and preserving traditions while embracing change and innovation. Her writing process was cathartic and enlightening for Ethan. It allowed him to relive his adventures and to crystallize the lessons he had learned. He hoped that his book would inspire others to appreciate the deeper meaning of Christmas and to celebrate it in ways that honored its rich history and promising future. As Christmas Day unfolded, Ethan shared his ideal with his family. They listened with keen interest, encouraging him and offering their own insights and memories. The support of his loved ones filled Ethan with a sense of purpose and determination. At evening, as they gathered around a fireplace, Keith and read aloud the first few chapters of his book. His family, wrapped in the cozy warmth of the room, listened intently, their faces reflecting the magic of the stories. It was a moment of connection and shared wonder, a reaffirmation of the timeless spirit of Christmas. The snow continued to fall gently, covering the world in a blanket of white. Inside, Ethan found a profound sense of peace and fulfillment. He knew that his journey with the cock had not only been a personal adventure, but also a path to a greater understanding of the holiday's significance. With the clock ticking softly in the background, Ethan realized that protecting the future of Christmas was not just about preserving traditions, but also about sharing the essence with the world. His book, A Labor of Love, The Affliction, would be his contribution to ensuring that the spirit of Christmas remained alive and vibrant for generations to come. As the days passed, Gethin devoted himself to completing his book, a heartfelt tribute to the spirit of Christmas through the ages. He found solace and joy in this endeavor. 
but a part of him knew that his time with the magical clock was drawing to a close. The clock had served its purpose, guiding him through incredible journeys and imparting invaluable lessons about the essence of Christmas and the inter. Sudden, M. Kerman mummed, yes, it is an unquiet evening, as the winter's chill whispered outside and the fire crackled warmly within. Ethan sat contemplating the clock. It sat there silent and noble, his surface reflecting the flickering flames. He realized that it was time to bid farewell to his time treadwell adventures. The clock was not meant to be bound to one person forever. <laughs> its magic and wisdom were meant to be shared, to inspire it and let matters as it had him. With a sense of solemnity and gratitude, he then made his decision. He would pass on the clock to a new guardian, someone who would respect its power and cherish its history. He thought of museums, historical societies, or perhaps a trusted individual passionate about history and the mysteries of time. He then knew that ensuring the clock's safekeeping for the Lallant Feathers to learn from it was the final step in his journey. Not night. Ethan wrote a letter to accompany the clock detailing its origins, his experiences, and the lessons it contained. He expressed his hope that the clock would continue to be a source of wonder, a breach between the past, present, and future, and a reminder of the enduring spirit of Christmas. As he sealed the letter, Ethan felt a mix of emotion and sadness at parting with the clock, but also contentment and fulfillment. He'd been part of something extraordinary, a journey that had forever changed his perspective on life and the tireless essence of the holiday season. The next day, Mikon made arrangements for the clock to transfer to a place where it would be valued and protected. He placed the clock in the lair in a carefully prepared box, ensuring its safety. As he closed the lid, he whispered a word of thanks to the clot for all the adventures and insights it had provided. With the clock now ready for its new home, Ethan felt a sense of completion. He had for thin his minimized the clot scold on the out of me as Ethan sat by the fire with his family. He felt a profound sense of peace. He had traveled through time, explored the depths of Christmas past and future, and had returned with a greater appreciation for the here and now. The lessons of the clock, stories of the people he had met, and the spirit of the holiday season were now undoubtedly etched in his heart. Outside, the stars shone brightly in the clear winter sky, a reminder of the vastness of time and the beauty of the universe. Inside, Ethan was surrounded by the warmth of his family, the comfort of his home, and the joy of the Christmas season. The journey with the clock had come to an end, but the memories and lessons that had given him would remain a timeless treasure in the story of his life. The decision to part with the pine traveling clock marked the end of a significant chapter in Edgen's life. As Christmas approached, he found himself more immersed in the present, appreciating the beauty and simplicity of the moment. The magic of the season seemed to fill every corner of his home, bringing a sense of peace and joy that he hadn't felt in a long time on Christmas Eve. As the snow gently blanketed the world outside, Faith and Nun's home was a haven of warmth and festivity. The air was filled with the aroma of picking and the sound of laughter and music. His family and a few close friends gathered, sharing in the holiday cheer as they all settled around the fireplace. Eaton decided to share the tale of his last adventure with the clock. A fitting story for Christmas Eve. With a man cup of cocoa on hand, 
he began to narrate his journey to discover the clock's origin. A lesson he had learned, and his decision to pass on the clock to a new guardian. His audience listened with rapt attention, their eyes reflecting the glow of the fire and the magic of the story. Hinopin's words painted a vivid picture of his travels through time. The people he had met, and the Christmases he had experienced in different eras. His family and friends were transported to the medieval village, the Victorian streets, the futuristic city, and finally, to the Mahana and the Hana Bukabuka Pana Tlakshashan Kaman Shakwak. As he concluded his tale, Ethan expressed his gratitude for the experiences and the deeper understanding of Christmas he had gained. He spoke of the true spirit of the holiday love, kindness, and tenderness. There was a moment of silence we Ethanished, a reflective pause as everyone absorbed the story. One, one by one, is for them many and friends began to share their own Christmas memories and traditions, each story adding to the tapestry of the evening. It was a time of sharing, of remembering the past, and of cherishing the present. Later, as they gathered for the traditional Christmas Eve dinner, the atmosphere was one of joy and gratitude. They raised a toast to family, to friends, and to the magic of Christmas, each person feeling a deep arc connection to the holiday and to each other. After dinner, they sang carols, their voices harmonizing in the cozy room, and exchanged gifts, each present a symbol of thoughtfulness and care. The evening was a celebration of the warmth and wonder of the holiday, a perfect embodiment of the Christmas spirit. As the night drew near to a close, and as the night's guests departed with wishes of Merry Christmas, he felt a profound sense of fulfillment. The journey with the clock had come to an end, but the lessons and memories it had given Ho on a part of his life, enriching his understanding of Christmas and its timeless magic. In the quiet of the night, with only the soft ticking of the regular clocks in the house, Ethan reflected on his extraordinary journey. He realized that the greatest gift of all was the love and companionship of those around him. The moments shared. And the memories made. An adjective Christmas he understood. As Ethan gazed at the gently falling snow outside, he felt a deep sense of peace and contentment. The magic of Christmas even dubbed him. Reminder that the spirit of the holiday would always be with him. A guiding light through the 